Here we have Distant Drums, and it is also using a lot of A's and a lot of B's in the left hand. But the right hand has got at least three notes. Here's your middle C, there's E, lots of E's, ends on E, E and A, A in the left hand, E in the right hand. It leads me to believe it's an A minor scale. And then of course some D's, which is the space above middle C. So let's clap and count this. One, two, ready, clap. One, two, three, four. 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 Now you have an interval of a fifth here from A to E. You have the line, the space, the invisible middle C line, the space of D, and the line. So that's five things. So A up a fifth, down a fifth, repeat, A up a fifth, down a fifth. From A to C is up a third, line to a line, skipping a space. Repeat, up a second, down a second, down a second to B, then back to the right hand, up a fourth to E. to C, down a second, and then the left hand plays down a second, the, the right hand is going to play up a third from the C. And notice the first two bars here are like the first two bars of this line, and then it starts the same but ends up differently because you want to end with this feeling of an A chord. All right, so the fingering is left hand two, right hand four, left hand. Left hand two, right hand four, left hand. That'll be right hand two, up a second to three. Left hand plays thumb, right hand four. Left hand two, right hand four, left hand two. That repeats. Right hand two, left hand one, and then it's going to be left hand two and right hand four. If you need to write in some fingering, go ahead and do so, since we've already talked about the intervals. All right, let's play it slowly a couple more times. One, two, ready, go. time. I recommend you practice it three to five times before going on to the next video. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> 